Hey guys, welcome to the Long Channel Review. Today I'm going to try this new P.F. Chang's home menu. This one's the Ramen Spicy Chicken Miso. We bought, we bought this at Target. It was $3.99, which isn't too awfully uh, bad. It is ramen noodles with chicken crumbles and vegetables in a spicy miso broth. Makes over 12 ounces. Just add water. Okay. And here's what it looks like. Um, it is 9.5 ounces or 269 grams just with the, this, as the package it is right now. So it's 330 calories. And here's the other information. The only thing pretty high is the sodium is really, really high. But everything else is pretty, pretty decent below. low. Um, okay, let's see the directions. Okay. So we're going to cook one at a time. Do not cook in a conventional or toaster oven. So this is microwave only. So we're going to remove the film. Add the water to the filling line. Will you give me a thing of water, please? Um, add to the filling line. Microwave on high for three minutes. Stir and then microwave for a minute and a half to two and a half minutes. So I'll probably just do two. I'll probably get it in the middle. And um, that's it. Bowl is made from plant-based flour. That's cool. So it does have a pull tab. Thank you very much, assistant. That was not what I was expecting at all. Okay. It's literally paper. Okay. So there's the water line. That line right there. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave. I'll probably put it on a paper plate just in case anything bubbles over, but uh, it should be okay. But anyway, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And um, it thickened up quite a bit. It was it got kind of watery there the first time I started it, but it's, it's thickened up a bit. Um, it smells fishy. It smells like there's like shrimp in there instead of chicken, but I'm sure it's something they put in the sauce. I'm gonna look at the ingredients real quick just to, just to be able to tell you when I come back. Did not bubble over. The paper plate's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna let this cool up a minute and I'll be back. Okay, um, I looked at the ingredients and I didn't see anything fish related at all. So it's just, it must be just the seasonings and spices and stuff they use. There's a lot of um, uh, peppers, like pepper paste and like there's sake in here and there's uh, pepper, different kinds of peppers in here and there's all kinds of different stuff in here. So I'd say it's one of those seasonings that's making it just seem like, that makes it seem that way. Um, there's some kind of like hot sauce in here, uh, paprika. So um, I don't know how spicy it's going to be, but we'll see. So I've got pretty much a little bit of everything in here. Um, I think there, yeah, there's some chicken back there too. The noodles are about the size of spaghetti noodles, uh, maybe a little bit bigger. I'm sure they don't taste or have the same texture, but I'm just saying size wise, they're about the same size as spaghetti noodles. It's got some burn in the back of your throat. It's also very salty, which you saw in the package, it was very salty. Um, but that salt really comes through. Um, so if you don't like, if you can have salty food, you probably don't want to get these because it is very, very salty. When I can taste the salt and, you know, I love a good salty anything. Um, when I'm saying it has a lot, I can taste a lot of salt, you know it's salty. I like the textures of everything. Everything has a really good texture. The noodles are, are good and soft, but they're not like smushy or mushy where they're just like dissolving in your mouth. Um, the chicken was good and tender. The vegetables in here are good and tender. Um, yeah, and the onions are really cooked well too. So you get the green onions, but they're not like a really hard, chewy um, bit of onion. They're, uh, they're actually good and soft and tender. Chicken is super tender. I really like the flavors of this. I like the um, the textures. The flavors go really good. Um, it's it is a little salty though. Just keep that in mind. And it definitely has some heat to it. But the flavors are really good. I like it. Um, you know, I'm gonna give this one a five out of five. I really do like it. I would eat this 
I'd eat this once a week if I if I could if I if I needed to. I would eat this literally for lunch every week, uh, at least once a month um, because it's that good. Um, so yeah, if you spicy me chicken miso uh, ramen, if you see this, definitely worth trying out. Um, and the spice, I just now saw the spice at the bottom. It's three out of five peppers, so so it's a little medium medium high medium hot, but I think it's excellent. Um, definitely a good flavor. Definitely um, good textures and everything about it. It's really good. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.